So today I'm going to talk to you about the project OL9. Uh, my claim about this project is that it will only provide benefits to friends. Now you might be wondering where, what is OL9? Uh, OL9 is a project for a complex um, in the vicinity of Lyon, which is uh, the third largest city in France. And the project includes a stadium, a mall, a park, a medical center, training grounds, and the multi-purpose uh, multi stadium. The stadium itself is referred to as the Salle des Lumières before it can uh, be attributed a, an actual name. Now the controversy over this project is that um, it is uh, distant from the city center and it's 15 kilometers away and it makes a, it makes a problem with the, uh, access. Um, it is also very costly uh, for the French, for French uh, standards. It costs 405 million euros and it will be funded uh, by PPP, which stands for uh, Private uh, Public Private Partnership. This means that um, part of the, the cost will be uh, funded by taxes. Now, my uh, the reason why um, this I think this project will be good uh, for France are uh, it will stimulate the economy. Secondly, it will set an, exa an example for the rest of France, French football clubs, and thirdly. Um, the project leads in, uh, leads in terms of uh, innovation and ecology. So firstly, the project will boost lo local economy by creating jobs. Um, Xavier Piefo, the city manager at Oil Group, uh, says that there is a clause in our contract of 5% of local employment, which we largely, largely exceeded since we are over 10%. Our objective is to create uh, 1,000 permanent jobs and 2,000 during events. <coughs> And uh, uh, this, the stadium is in construction as, as of now, and it has already uh, created uh, more than a thousand, um, a thousand jobs, uh, according to the official website of Olympic Unit, the, uh, uh, the club that will uh, be the home um, of the stadium. Um, the, out of the 70% of the 150 companies that are working on the project, are from uh, the Ronab region, which is uh, the the local um, local region of uh, the city. And the project also opens up a larger market, because since uh, the the multi multi um, multi purpose stadium will will be able to host larger events such as concerts and sporting occasions. My sec secondary claim is that uh, the project sets an example for the rest of French football clubs. And it'll do so because the Stade de will be the largest uh, uh, privately owned stadium in France. The 58,215 58, seats uh, stadium will be the lo um, uh, the capacity itself will be a, a factor for other uh, clubs to follow and uh, and upgrade their their facilities, especially since the Euro 2016 will be held in France. Uh, other clubs have already uh, started to upgrade their facilities. For example, the, in, in Lille, the Stade uh, Pierre Mauroy um, will have, that have built the stadium in 2012 and their uh, attendance have, have grown from 16,971 average per game to 40,593 uh, per game from 2011-2012 to 2012-2013 season according to the LFP. And secondly, it, it encourages the French market to follow the British and German model. Um, the Stade de Mer is following the, the models uh, of such as Arsenal Football Club that has uh, completed uh, their Emirates Stadium in 2006. The chairman of, of Arsenal Holdings PLC, Peter Hillwood, says in the statement of uh, the account, statement accounts and annual report of 2006-2007 that the average attendance at Emirates Stadium was more than 59,900 producing match day revenue of some 3.1 million pounds per game. Match day revenues have more than doubled to, to excess of uh, 90,000 um, million pounds, helping the group turnover to grow from 137 million pounds in 2006 to 201 million pounds for 2007. The successful financial model uh, um, that, that Lyon is following uh, will make, is estimated to make 70, uh, 70 million euros per year for the first five years making the stadium uh, larger profitable. And my third point is that the project is an, ex is an, is 
is an example in terms of sustainability since the stadium is built to be green and conscious of the earth. It is highlighted by the pho photovoltaic panels on the roof of the stadium, um, making it env environmentally conscious projects like this one, um, which makes it a great showcase for the country. Uh, public transportation will also have to be extended and the tramway and shuttle that run the, the, to the grounds promote more eco ecological ways of transportation. In conclusion, uh, to summarize it, the oil land project will benefit France by stimulating the economy, by being a model for French clubs, and raising the standards for sustainability. Thank you. All right, my two favorite things, soccer and France. Um, I thought you did a nice job kind of outlining what the general uh, idea of the project is and what the benefits would be. There's a clear structure there. Uh, I do think that you rush a little bit because when I first wrote, I, I know, where are you? Somewhere. There you are. I'm looking over there and I can't see you. Uh, when I first heard it, I thought he said oil land, and it's OL land. I, I see that uh, when I looked at the outline. So I think that part of the delivery rushes that a little bit, and uh, especially when you're talking in, in uh, terms that are not going to be automatically familiar, you might want to be careful about that because we're talking euros and uh, you know, names that are not always going to be familiar and dripping off of the tongue and everybody's going to know those references. So I think you need to be a little bit more careful about the presentation of those kinds of things and give people a chance to absorb that. But the basic argument doesn't change uh, whether it is in France or someplace else. The argument comes down to whether or not it's economically viable, uh, whether it's going to be a, a good thing for the football team uh, that you're talking about, and in the long run, whether it's going to be environmentally sustainable. So I thought all of those points are perfectly valid to present and that you had some pretty good information on them, especially on the first and the second point. The third point seems like it's, you know, an idealization of what they hope will happen without much demonstration that that's going to be the case. The uh, economic benefits, I think, are um, outlined a little bit. You're talking about the amount of money that's being spent, and it sounds pretty big. You said it's the, you know, one of the largest projects ever. That that's one of the reasons it's controversial. And for instance, because it's uh, funded by public money, that means something. Um, I would have to do some calculation on it because I've got to figure out what all those euros represent in terms of dollars and cents. But uh, there was some number like 750 million, was it? Uh, 70 million euros per year. Per year. Okay, you know, and I, I'm going to be, you know, figuring out, okay, well, that's sustaining 1,000 uh, permanent jobs and 2,000 part-time jobs, and I'd have to be calculating. How much is that costing us per job to produce, or costing us, the, the PPL, you know, uh, in order to maintain and sustain those jobs? That There's going to be some math involved in doing that, and somebody's going to have to figure out if this sounds like a sound investment. I think there are also some things in the second part when you're talking about it being a model and that there are other countries that have done those kinds of things and other football teams in particular, you know, following the French, not the French, the English and the German models on that particular situation. I think it would be helpful if we had some data about the success of those um, projects as well that have produced similar kinds of outcomes. I like the idea of uh, suggesting that it's going to have long-term advantages to France's uh, you know, 
football industry or something like that uh, that you're talking about. Uh, but it's a little. It, I think it's a little abstract, and it needed a little bit more development. And like I said, the third point is an interesting idea. I don't know how important it is to the overall argument. I thought you did a good job, like I said, citing evidence on the first and second points. Um, your presentation, you are rushing, as I said before, and there's a lot of reading that goes on. Um, you need to stop and talk to us a little bit more, you know, that kind of thing. All right.